Starting at the front of the plane with the propeller, she's got a constant speed prop. This one is a Hartzell three-bladed scimitar, 72 inches in diameter. Um, as I understand it, you pay a bit of price for the three blades when you're cruising, uh, but you get it back on climb performance. Or at least that's what the engineers tell me. I've never actually flown in a Legacy with a two-bladed prop, so I don't really have a basis for comparison. In actual fact, I've seen very few Legacies with two blades on the front. Um, but definitely in terms of climb performance, I have nothing to complain about. In good conditions, I've seen 3,000 feet per minute rate of climb. Uh, legacy specifications say you can get 2,200 to 2,500 feet per minute, but of course that depends on the number of people you have on board, the fuel, the loading, the air mass you're in, and, and so on. The engine is a Continental IO550N. Um, the other main engine that you see in this aircraft is the Lycoming IO540, but from what I've seen, there are definitely more Continentals in the fleet. Strictly speaking, mine is actually a Lycon engine, not a Continental. Lycon is a California company that takes factory engines, uh, does performance tuning, porting, flowing, and other magic. Uh, this one was ported, flowed, and polished when it was brand new. Um, I have slightly higher compression pistons. They're about 10.1 to 1, uh, giving slightly more horsepower than a stock engine. This one has a Ram Air. You can see it in this inlet right here. Think of it as a poor man's turbocharger. It's basically a tube aiming forward into the airstream right at the inlet. Uh, it's connected directly to the intake manifold and it has a butterfly valve halfway in so you can open it and close it. When the valve is open, the speed of the aircraft forces air into this tube directly into the intake manifold. And that's unfiltered air, so you never want to open this thing on the ground. Uh, because you have more manifold pressure, you can mix more fuel into it. This lets you maintain higher power at altitude than you'd normally be able to. The valve's on the panel, and I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, this aircraft also has GAMI injectors. And I'll mention a little bit later on because they let me run at a really wide range of mixtures. And in particular, the Lena Peak operation in this aircraft with the GAMIs is just magic. 